Hello, 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 everybody. This is a quick test of playing board games over Tabletop Simulator with the idea being I would do more of these and then eventually move to doing board games in real life as well. Um, just because I, I like board games, I like playing them. And if this is something I can do content wise, uh, then I will very happily do it. So this is kind of a quick test of a number of things. So kind of the content type how to deliver it, how to do it, uh, tabletop simulator, and the spectator view and camera angle uh, view. So I kind of have everything set up so I can kind of jump around the board for everybody on screen. I point over here because that's where I'm looking at it, but also here, I'm looking at it twice. It's weird. Um, and just kind of go through a game, basically. Uh, we are, for the purposes of this game, using the depth watch watch master so single player i only have the one character to, that i need to worry about normally you have four uh but th this is a very strong guy who is designed to be solo played by himself uh this is a one-off expedition we have some special rules regarding the army of one uh with the death watch watch master and you'll see he has a special event table which we will need to be aware of rules but Basically, it's going to work exactly the same. So, uh, if we move to the initiative deck stage for you guys over here. I've shuffled these already. Uh, well, hang on. I have set up the combat board uh, as this card dictated. I just pulled this out before I started, basically, just because this is a test. as a single expedition. I don't need to worry about all of the kind of quest stuff. But eventually, the idea would be to record a full quest videos being around 15 20 minutes long so probably one mission one these are encounters right no these are explorations uh, wait then what are the other ones expeditions <laughs> so probably one exploration per video and then a number of videos making up an exploration uh probably to begin with just solo play i am also uh playing this with uh some people i know from stream and i may live stream those but they won't be done in the same kind of way they'll just follow in my view i would imagine but we'll see um and then i might port the, the the vods over here as well just for the kind of more longer form play session ones uh, rather than these kind of highly curated and edited down ones that we're going to do here so Basically, we are ready to set up our bad guys. So we're going to do that by jumping over here and pulling from the encounter there. I will shuffle it again. I have left everybody in here. I haven't pulled out like the Space Marines, the Chaos Space Marines or anything like that. Anything can happen in this deck. So we're going to pull three. Spindle Drones, Space Marines, and Trader Guardsmen. That's not too bad that this is who we're using uh i have decided that we're going to be doing destiny dice because i didn't see a rule that says that we didn't so i'm going to go ahead and roll these and then we will look at our initiative order oh god we've got to get rid of all these freeze it's not a good roll we will also roll our dice up here that was a better roll Oh, also, we are by no means inspired right now. Let's not cheat that hard. <laughs> and then we will move Watchmaster down onto the board. And I want you looking kind of in the right way. So these guys can see us. Both other groups are hidden. We will jump over to the initiative side. I don't know why I'm not revealing these as we go. There's no covering fire, no gambits. We do get to go first, which is nice. Let's just go back to the board and let's decide what we're going to do. So what is our long range like? 1d12 and 2d8s. And we have the bone shrapnel rule. And we can put in the hellfire shells. 
I think that there's no cover. I think I am just going to take shots at these. So what is it? A one plus? One plus. Um, we've got plenty of movement. What do I need? A four plus to move four? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to use the Destiny die first. And we are going to do a Guardian Spear at 4 plus. So that's 1d12 and 2d8s. I forgot what I said as well. Oh, already. 1d12. Oh, there's dice already. 1d12, 2d8s. Put the spare dice up here. We can get rid of this bag. This is all the stuff I should have done before I hit record. But you know what it's like. You forget when you're testing. I mean, I'll forget even when I'm not testing, so I don't know why I'm using that as an excuse. And we're going to take a shot. And that guy is very much dead. So that's one dead spindle drone, which means their threat level goes up. If they get to do an attack, we get to roll bone shrapnel. Uh, so on an 18 plus, he will take a wound. He takes a wound. Okay. And then, I think we're going to spend our natural free here and do the same thing again. This is right. And he is very much dead. Take the wound off. Now, I believe that means we've inspired. During an expedition, a hostile group that contained any Urgols or Spindle Drones has no models on the battlefield. We are indeed inspired. Which just basically just gives us more attack die. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so we are basically in a very strong position straight away. So I think what we'll do is we'll I kind of want to move in to take on probably the Space Marines. So it's going to be how many how many fives and stuff do we have? Uh they are all above four, and we got six dice left. So we can move four each turn. So one, two, can't go across this, this, this is a wall. Can't cut that in movement. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, and then one, two, and then we're ready to shoot, although they would be in cover, although I can use my ammo. So one, two, three, four, one, two. So that's going to cost us two die. Um, basically we'll just dump the destiny die and we will dump our four so this gives us four attacks all of our attacks are one plus um, we get no benefit for spending the, the higher die on the higher things but we can use the kraken shells to ignore cover um which we will probably do. Space Marines have, I believe, four wounds. But this is what we're going to do. So we are going to Guardian Spear shoot at two to three. So that's two D12, a D8, and a D6. And we're going to spend our first dice. We've got four cracks at this. And we're going to shoot this first guy. And we are ignoring cover. Wow. Only one wound? What a terrible roll. Uh, so we're going to spend our second die. Do the same thing. We've got two left. We are ignoring cover. So he's up to three. God, he's still not dead. Did not mean to flip the dice as well. I was honestly thinking we would kill these easily, but we may be wrong. So that is our third die. Wow, that would have just killed one straight away because we're ignoring cover. But 
I was attacking this guy, so he is dead. We will roll this Blackstone die. He does take a wound. We're getting very lucky with that. So far, no other rolls. And then we will use our last attack. And this guy is very much dead as well. Uh, we are out of dice. So we will do our inspiration roll. So eight. We get inspired. Dump that on the card just so I remember that we are inspired. Let's move it off the card a little bit so it's not over the text. Got rid of this group. We are out of moves. So we are done. It is now group number two. Group number two is dead. It's their first activation, so they don't get a reinforcement roll. So number two is done. We are on to group number one. Who are also dead. Oh, wait, it wasn't eight at all, was it? It was ten. It doesn't matter. We got it, but I forgot we took out those spindle drones right at the start. Yeah, we did better than I thought we did, actually. We did all right. So now it's group number three, which are the only ones who are still alive. So we are doing the Traitor Guardsmen. They are... Let's get rid of the other guy we don't need. They are hidden. So it's going to be hidden on the behavior table for all of these roles. And we'll start with this guy up the front here. Free, hidden is hold. Let's do this guy over here. Which is a two, which is also a hold. Now we're onto the flamer here. Which is a five, which is a sneak. Sneak, I always forget what it does. Uh, make a move that ends as clear as possible to explore without entering hex and is visible. Okay, so basically they're just he's just going to move up the hallway. How many have we done? Yeah, this is right. Two holds on the sneak. Yeah. So one, two. We're now on to the last gunner. Which is a 15, which is a charge. Charge, I know. Only two else and one, two. Can attack one, two. And then last but not least, another 15, which we already know is a charge. Don't know why I looked. One, two, one, two. That's the Sarge. That's the goddamn Sarge. All right, that is them done. This is this round done. We can group... No, wrong button. We can group these up. We can shuffle. I'll deal them out just while I'm up here, but we do have to do our event roll and we're going to have to consult the special event roll table so that was a 16 14 all right so 14 is deadly escape the leader replaces the portal furthest from the explorer with a maglev transport escape chamber if more than one portal is equally far to explore the leader can pick which one to replace if this event has already okay so Furthest away, well, is it as the crow flies? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this one is now where we have to get to, which kind of works for us. Also, is kind of a pain in the arse. Because we have to collect all the loot. Um, all right, so that's the event roll done. So let us roll our destiny die. Uh, so we will keep all of them. Oh, that's handy. That's going to give us a lot of actions. And we will... Roll our normal dice. Alright, that wasn't such a good roll. But then again, we only really want to use the high ones for movement on this character. So, it's not terrible. It's not as bad as on some of the other characters in this game. Let's put it that way. Then we need to reveal our initiative. We're going first again. God, we're getting lucky on that. <laughs> We're getting lucky on that, if nothing else. All right, so let's jump to the board. 
So I can spend... Uh, let's see, what have we got in terms of dice? We're going to get rid of our... We'll get rid of our natural one. To move us the two onto here. We will spend... Um, we'll spend a natural four to search. Which means we have to go over onto this camera, in fact. I forgot to shuffle these, so let's shuffle those. Nope. Just the one card. And we got... Doo -doo -doo -doo. A secret agenda for someone, which I will just put down by my character. We can go back here. So we still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dice to do other things. And a lot of that is going to be movement. We can get rid of two. So we got... So we can save... It's weird to say that we can save the lower ones for combat um, and use the higher ones to get around. So we will... I think I want to go... I think I want to go and take out these guys first. So we're looking at one, two, three, four. And then... So that'll get rid of the five. And then... We'll spend this four as well to move one, two, three, four, which puts us in melee range of these two here. We did go first now that I'm doing all this. Yes, we did. Um, so that puts us in melee range over there. So we are going to do that. I believe, which is uh, 2d12 and 2d8. But no Guardian Spear. All right, so I need another d8. We're going to punch the Sergeant. Now, the Sarge has three wounds, if I remember correctly. Yes. All right, so we are punching the Sarge with our punch attack. Wow, that Sarge just got fucking melted. And you were the first person we killed this turn. Remember for the inspiration roll. Uh, so we are then going to spend another... Well, I guess we'll get rid of the Destiny Dice 1. Uh, and we're going to punch the Laz Gunner. Who is also dead. And then I need to move another two. Do we have... I want to keep these... I want to keep this five and this four to see if we can move out afterwards. So we'll spend our natural two over there. And... Sorry if you see me looking down like this. This is the other screen where the game is and you can interact with it over there. I need to kind of adjust where this monitor is, but uh, I need to buy a, an arm so I can put it up. But that's a, you know, by the by type thing. Uh, so that was to move us two, which puts us in... Oh, wait, no. No, I take that back. I take that back. We're going to spend that to shoot at a range of two to three at the flamer. Because it's my party, and I can decide I take things back. Um, and he is very much dead. And we're going to roll the Blackstone dice for the uh, Guardsman at the front there. There's no way we can get more 18 pluses on this. Nope, he's fine. And then for the other guy. Because of the Bone Spear. Uh, I should have said what ammo I was using. It's Hellfire. Um, and then we still have a number of dice left. So we will spend this two to have another go with the 
beer, but they're now four away. One, two, three, four. So we've got to do the four plus rules, which is one D12, two D8, and a D6. And we're going to hit this guy here. We're going to attempt to hit that guy here, sorry. It's Hellfire, we could re-roll these, but he's already dead. We will roll the Blackstone for the other guy, he is fine. We are then going to spend the Blackstone 3. This 2, I think we've already spent. I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll say we have. Uh, to basically do the same attack again. These become crits. He's dead anyway, but those would have become crits. So he is dead. And so we have left two die. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, we can't quite get there and search. Maybe I hadn't used that. To no, I'd use that too. So, but we are going to do it. One, two, three, four. And this portal's closed. So any enemies are going to come here. We do. I was here, right? One, two, three. No, we're going to do this instead. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to search on one with our remaining two uh, destiny die that we have over here. That is not the destiny die thing. There we go. Let's just go and see what we pull from the discovery deck. It is more Arcutech. Not that we go to the ship, so I don't actually think this is useful. Um, and I think you're only meant to do one-off expeditions, but I... Which, it, this is what this is, because I have not set this up to be a proper exploration. <laughs> I think that's the way they go. Um, no, a proper expedition. These are explorations. So, uh, but we'll, 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 we'll do all this anyway, because why the hell not? And... That is my turn, which means we have to deal with number three. All right, so right now everybody is dead. Um, number three was the five traitor guardsmen. We will do a reinforcement roll. They do not get any reinforcements. We will do a reinforcement roll for number one, I think it was next. Yep. They do not get any reinforcements. That's a 17. And then we'll do a reinforcement roll for number two. They also do not get any reinforcements. Nope. Ah, so what I can't do on that view is draw a line. Good to know. Snap group. And then shuffle. We will put them out, but we won't reveal at this stage. Because we've got a lot of other stuff to do. Well, I say a lot of other stuff. We have to roll our destiny dice. Oh, we didn't do the event. Five. Wave after wave, if possible, every hostile that has been slain during the combat encounter is returned to the battlefield as reinforcements. Alright, but you're still referring me to the combat. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, to make a reinforcement roll for the group. Okay, so we're going to say it's the maximum number possible. So, we will do this in card order up here. So, for group number one, uh, we can bring back six large. So, two large spindle drones is fine. They are, for unfortunately, all going to pour in through here. Some down here, because we're going to run out of space. So only saving grace. Number two was the Space Marines. They are large lads. And we can bring back four large lads. So they all come back. Oh, this just got spicy. Sorry, I should I should have this view open so you can see what we're doing. 
And then number three is the Traitor Guardsmen. They are small, so we can bring back six of them. Uh, so we can fit one in here. Do you know what? We'll make that the Sergeant. And then, because these hexes are full, I'm going to say this lot have to reinforce down here. That may not be correct, but it makes sense to me just to bring them back. Um, now, obviously, our ideal scenario right now is to get another lucky first on the initiative track and just fucking book it down to the lift. Don't even worry about the combat. Uh, we may still do the combat, but we probably shouldn't. But anyway, now, Destiny dies. All right, so we're getting rid of the ones. We're getting rid of the sixes. So we have one Destiny dice this time. I mean, we did get lucky on that first one, so. Really can't complain. All right, well, two sixes. All right, we've got a lot of movement if we can avoid combat. Which we may well do. I mean, even if we're last, I may just avoid the combat regardless, assuming we're still alive. But again, that, that's, a, that's a time will tell kind of thing. So now we have to reveal our initiative. We are kind of slap dab in the middle. So number three is the Traitor Guardsman. So this is going to be interesting because we split them up this time. Which may have been incorrect, but because it said bring as many as possible back, I decided to split them across the board. Um, we will deal with the ones who are further away first for the Traitor Guardsman. So that's a 19 on Hidden, which is Charge. One, two, one, two. That's a one on him, which is hold. So the sergeant's going to hold. That's an 18 on him, which I'm pretty sure is a charge. One, two, one, two. And then we've got the other pistol and melee guy to do down here. Which is a 19, which is another charge. One, two, one, two. Wait, how did you end up in the same place when I brought you off here? You... They should all be back one. I, I cut them. I cut the wall. They should all be back one. Okay, now we have to worry about the guardsman. Who, I thought I put the Sarge up here. I didn't in the end. All right. So he is in close combat, so engaged. Which is an 18, which is a onslaught. Onslaught is... Uh, attack the closest explorer, then attack him again. So basically two attacks. He's close range. He is the pistol and the melee guy. He gets two D8s. Uh, my defense, I believe, is two D12s. Yep. That's a miss. And he gets to do it again. Ooh, critical wound coming in, possibly. Or not. Everything is fine. All right, so that is card number... Oh, wait, it was... Yeah, no, three... Three was correct. That was the Traitor Guards one, so... Get rid of them. So now we're on to number one, which is the two Spindle Drones. Who are up here. So they are engaged... They are at threat level. They came back. So I'm going to say they're at threat level zero, seeing as they're new. Um, get rid of the spare ones. They are engaged. So let's start rolling the Blackstone die for them. It's a 19 engaged. That is Onslaught. Uh, threat level one, range one is 1d6. A miss. And a miss. That was almost out of view, I think. But I think I just about called it. Uh, and then we're going to do the one next to it. Also engaged. 
So another 19. So pretty sure that's an onslaught because we just rolled the same thing twice. A miss. And a miss. That was some lucky rolls, in all fairness. That's number one done. It's now our turn. I didn't do my inspiration roll for the last one. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I think I am just going to run. Um... How much movement do I need? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So, do I have at least three, four pluses? I do. We're out of there. Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. One, two, three, four. Let's go back here. So, I was here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Puts me on three. Let's just say we spent our sixes there. We'll spend the five to search. And then we've got plenty of movement left to actually run away and make it. So we're going to get rid of number three. We're going to go search the discoveries. we got a clue. And then we're going to spend... One of our other many dice to run away. Get on the lift. That is the end of that exploration. <sighs> One day I remember which E. Why did they have to give them both E names? Why? Anyway, that is the end. That is kind of a end of this test recording. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave feedback uh, down below as to whether you'd like to see this more of this kind of stuff. Different board games uh trying out different things and then hopefully eventually moving into doing the kind of live board game stuff as well in the same kind of fashion but uh, we will see thank you for watching and i will hopefully see you all again soon bye for now